In the 21st century, the world wants physicians to be able to communicate information to them in a way that's understandable, that's simple, that makes sense to them. People want to have a connection with their doctor. The kind of physician I want to be is one that can actually have a partnership with his patients. I want to be a physician that continues to lead throughout my career. I want to be the physician that changes the world. The goal of a DO school is to train students to become physicians who don't just know the what about the diagnosis of disease, uh, but how to use all of their senses in order to diagnose that disease and, and figure out the why behind it. The emphasis at the, our College of Osteopathic Medicine is to train physicians to be healers and take a holistic approach to medicine. And they end up being what I think of as really some of the best trained, rounded on physicians on the planet. Upon graduation, our students are ready for anything. They're ready to go into a primary care discipline. They're ready to go into a super subspecialty. I chose a DO school because I have every opportunity um, afforded to me in medicine that, that I could ever have dreamed of. One of the things that makes the osteopathic education system so special is the environment and the culture that we create in our schools. I've had many students who, when they visit an osteopathic school, immediately say, this is some place I can stay and this is some place I can learn. Students have access to the, the, the latest technology with regards to simulation labs um, and also um, uh, standardized patient assessment labs, uh, surgery um, simulation labs. And so they're very, very interested in uh, making sure that our education is cutting edge and evidence-based and always looking at how we can integrate technology with our learning. We have a very nice mix of uh, basic scientists and clinical faculty and the students get to interact with the clinical faculty in small groups and they do early clinical experiences when they come into the college and they just love that. Within the first week you're uh, putting your hands on another student's arm and you're feeling skin, you're feeling you know, muscle, you're feeling veins, you're actually feeling the body parts that you're going to be examining as a physician. So you get over that fear of touching a patient. Just try to you know, use your body lean a little bit so you don't have to get all arm. You can throw your shoulder into it. Take a deep breath. A doctor of osteopathic medicine is first and foremost a fully trained physician who has an additional benefit of using their hands in diagnosis and treatment that adds a different dimension to the health care of the patient. This helps with the healing process, it helps with improving range of motion, um, decreasing muscle tension, and those um, types of treatments can assist with more chronic conditions. I can obviously uh, diagnose, get the x-rays, get the medicine, but I have one additional modality. I can reach into my black bag and not come out with another tool except my hands. And by using my hands, I can probably get some instantaneous relief of pain and hopefully cure the patient quicker. The osteopathic approach uh, to medical education, educating physicians, is absolutely vital in our society today, especially the aspect of promoting primary care. Although there's an emphasis in primary care, there's also the option of them becoming surgeons, uh, radiologist, anesthesiologist, rehab. I come from a traditionally uh, underserved area uh, and I'm really looking to get back there uh, and provide care to those type of patient populations. I think that's, that's where the help is needed the most. A DO school trains people who will go out and change the world by touching individual lives. We are providing the type of doctors that the society is asking for. If indeed you wish to be the doctor that we need for the future, the osteopathic route is the way to go.